Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to another video. Good to see you again. Now, I've been trying to cut down all the takeaway I've been getting recently, so I've started eating at home more. But the person we're watching today took that a little too literally, and they're literally eating their home. You'll see what I mean in a minute. If you enjoy the videos, drop a like and a subscribe on the channel. Helps me out more than you know, and you can always unsubscribe later. But now, let's jump in and see the woman who eats drywall. My name is Nicole. I'm 26 years old. I'm a single parent. I live in Detroit, Michigan. All right, pretty normal so far. Lives in Detroit as a parent. I'm sure she's not doing anything weird behind closed doors. And I'm addicted to eating drywall. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Just get straight into it, doesn't it? Oh, this, that sinister music. Just straight away. I am not gonna lie. It's got quite a satisfying snap every time she takes a bite. I shouldn't already be enjoying this. I am literally eating my house. There we go. I even said that in the intro. She is literally, it's her own house. I mean, I'm glad it's not somebody else's, I guess. Who needs termites when you can have her? Nicole has been addicted to eating drywall for over seven years. <laughs> this, just, this just can't be real. This can't be real. It, <laughs> seven years of eating drywall. I mean, how, how has she not died? Surely that's got to be horrible for your health. Who knows? Maybe she's just unlocked the secret to a long life. Probably not, though. It started innocently with a bite of chalk. What's innocent about eating chalk? If I was told that you were eating chalk or drywall, I would be concerned. That is, there's nothing innocent about that. I switched from chalk to drywall because drywall tastes better than chalk to me. <laughs> no. No! Drywall tastes better than chalk, does it? Okay, how about neither of them? I think a steak would probably taste nicer than either of those things. Maybe even a leaf from your garden. I'd rather eat leaves than f***ing drywall. Now, Nicole ingests drywall up to six times a day. Oh, she's really scoffing it, isn't she? She's... Oh, yeah, get... Oh, get the drywall. <laughs> what am I doing? I love the smell of drywall, the texture of it, the taste... I love everything about drywall. She just fails to mention that drywall can also be used in your house. That's why I like drywall. It means I have all these walls around me. Who knows? She could have drywall in the freezer, just on standby. I just smacked something on my desk then. It was a Pringles can. Um, better than drywall, I guess. It's kind of like a chalky taste. And I'll probably eat about this much a day. No, you can't. You can't. That's got to kill you, surely. People can't even eat cheese without a stomach ache. How's she ingesting her whole house? That's over 93 square meters in seven years. F*** off. No, it's just the... <laughs> I get drywall wherever I can find it. My house, for instance, my friend's house. She's taking it from her friend's house as well. Imagine if her friend just doesn't know. She's like, don't suppose uh, you know anything about the weird hole that's appeared on my wall. She's there just like chewing it like... Mm, no, don't know what you need. Do you think when her and her friend go out for a meal, the waiter's like, oh, what do you want? And she's like, oh, yeah, I'll have that wall over there. That one looks nice. And sometimes my grandmother's house. She's <laughs> saying for her grandmother as well. Oh, my God, my voice went so high then. Wow. It's the effects of drywall, I guess. This is the hole in my wall that I've created by uh, picking. She could have done it in a bit more of an inconspicuous location. It's just like right there as you walk in. It's, <laughs> I guess it's head height. Do you think she just goes in it? I just takes a bite out of it like that, hands free. And I've been picking at it for like two months. It's like an exposed electrical socket right next to it as well. She's gonna electrocute herself. I take a piece like this and I take it and I break it. Then I'll take a bite out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I I'm sorry. But that is a really satisfying little snap as she bites into it. Now, I've never done this before, but if we can get 20 whole likes, I will start eating the drywall in the flat. There are different kind of drywall. Some are thicker than others. Some just, they don't taste the same. I imagine when the manufacturers make the drywall, there's probably not a taste tester in the company. So, I mean, maybe she could be hired for that. You never know. Maybe that's what the drywall companies are missing out on. Get some strawberry flavored ones, lemon scented. I think that could be a good hit. For instance, the uh, green drywall over there. That one has a nasty taste over there. And this one. Oh yeah, that drywall tastes horrible. This drywall on the other hand, mmm. Wow. Just had like a fresher taste to me. She's just eating it in the fucking store. You can't do that. 
That's stealing. If you're going to eat drywall, at least own the drywall. I mean, she's already taken it from her grandma's house and her mate's house as well, so God knows. She gets taken to court for stealing drywall and she starts just eating her way out of the courtroom. <laughs> no one in my life knows about my addiction to drywall. It's very weird. How can nobody know about it? For one, you're on a fucking TV show. And two, there's just random holes in the drywall around your house. You're literally, he stood right there and you're picking it off a board and putting it in your pocket. I don't think it's as much of a secret as you think it is. And and has made me embarrassed and I am ashamed because it's not food. I'm embarrassed and I'm ashamed. So I thought I would tell the entire world by coming onto TLC. And not only is she hiding the drywall in the underwear drawer of all places, this is the classic hiding spot. They've shown her secret hiding spot on TV. You've got to put it in a safer location. All the other drywall eaters are going to come looking for it. Or they'll just take it directly off of your house, I guess. They could always do that. Yes, not very good. I'd rather not be eating fiberglass. That's got to be horrible, though. Even when you get fiberglass on your skin, it's so itchy. Oh, but you don't have to tell me that it's not safe to eat drywall. I think I gathered that. I am worried that I will eventually get sick. But at this point, I do not really want to know what's in drywall. I wouldn't either. If you've been eating it for seven years, it's probably best to just be blissfully unaware at this point. I'm not encouraging it. Don't eat drywall at home. I know you're thinking about it. What you should be thinking about is subscribing to the channel. Thanks. My addiction is at its worst. It's really time for me to stop but I'm not sure that I can stop. I'm sure you can. I mean, again, I'm not going to encourage this, merely entertaining the idea, but I feel like eating chalk might be less damaging than eating drywall. So maybe you could just kind of ease off of it, go back to the chalk and then love hearts. Love hearts are edible and they're pretty much chalk. Nicole's family doesn't know about her addiction. Today, she's finally ready to reveal her secret to her uncle. I hope they take it well. She's clearly got a bad problem here and she needs help. I hope that she can get the help she needs. So this is it. This is that little problem you're Yeah, that's about. my the little hole I've been telling. Oh, yeah. So how the heck that happened? How the heck that happened? Did you bump into it? Did a guy named Kyle run out of monster energy and punch a hole straight through it? Oh, you've been eating it. Oh. <laughs> well, for the past seven years, I have been eating drywall. Eating drywall? Are you serious? Yes. This is not some kind of joke. I really hope it is. Please be a joke. I'm sure not all of these TLC shows are real. I just, I really hope that this one isn't real. But there's been so many shots of her eating drywall on camera and she knows what they taste like. Ah! That's an unnatural aging. Not meant to go in our physical body. As you ingest this, you're also ingesting all kind of chemicals. Congratulations, everybody. Yes, drywall is not supposed to be eaten. We've got to get you to see a doctor. And I'm with you, as always, on everything. We know we're going to get past it. It's honestly nice that her uncle kind of understands and hasn't just immediately been like, you're really weird, and he actually wants to help her. I Again, I hope she gets the help. I do feel bad for her. I know Nicole is a strong person, and I know with the right uh, help, that she can beat this. I think if she did find out what was in drywall, that would actually maybe help because then she'll think about all those horrible things while she's eating it. Hopefully she finds a solution somehow. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. I'm gonna take this advice and I'm gonna see a doctor and get help with my addiction. Good on you, Nicole. Good on you. I hope the doctor's appointment goes well. Let's see. Have you had any problems with belly pain or nausea, vomiting, constipation? I've had like stomach pain, but I've always thought that it was because of uh, spicy foods. Mm -hmm. Maybe don't put hot sauce on your drywall then. That would probably help. And have you had any other issues around eating drywall? You know, for instance, has, has your family said anything to you or any concerns about, about your family or anybody else? No, they haven't said anything. I've managed to keep it a secret this whole time, even when I've been stealing the walls from their houses. She's slick with it, I'll give her that. That's, it's impressive. I have been feeling like fatigued sometimes and lightheaded, but I just thought that that was um, poor eating. I mean, it probably is poor eating, isn't it? Because even if you're eating a balanced diet, when you're eating drywall as well, that's got to be bad. It's got to be bad. Hopefully it's not caused any long-term effects. Are you aware of what makes up drywall at all by any no, chance? No, I don't know what's in drywall. Oh God, here we go. Time to find out what's in. I mean, we already know. TLC's told us. Didn't tell her though. Bit strange. There can be glass. Glass? Yeah, glass. The good news is you're not having any symptoms that would suggest that you have any damage right now. But if it keeps going, it certainly could. Wow. 
That's good. That's good that she's not damaged her body. I'm impressed. I'm actually very impressed that she's managed to eat drywall for seven years and her, she's like, okay. She's not like permanently damaged her body. The iron stomach. It's gonna be very hard, but by the end of this month, I wanna be drywall free. Oh, and it ends there? I wanna see her full journey. I hope she genuinely does become drywall free. But I've had a look and I can't find anything to see where she got with that. So I hope she's doing well and I hope she managed to get over the strange addiction that she has. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you sitting through the video. If you enjoyed, please drop a like and a subscribe on the channel. It helps me out massively. Also, if you want a little bit of extra content, I was also on I'm Alex's podcast, the Internet Sensation podcast. I'll leave the link in the description if you guys want to listen to that. We talk about time travel, Mr. Beast and other things. But with that being said, have a good rest of your days, everybody. Take care. Peace.